He is the gin foil chef, a man with a video love. Hey, all that's going. Well, I said yesterday that I was going to recalculate my BMR because my weight had dropped noticeably. And I did so. And uh, since uh, Fugger suggested in a comment that I should show the formulas for that, I'm doing so. And what you're looking at right now is the two formulas for that. There is one formula for men and another one for women. And the reason for the two different formulas hasn't got anything to do with sexism. It's just simply that women's metabolisms are different, and so naturally the formula for them is going to be different. Okay, the formula for men, 66 plus 6.22 times your weight plus 12.7 times your height in inches minus 6.8 times your age. For women, it's 655 plus 4.36 times your weight plus 4.32 times your height in inches minus 4.7 times your age. And by the way, in both of those, the weight is in pounds. Working through the formula for me, first you reduce the terms in parentheses. 6.22 times 340.6. That's 2,118.532. The next term is 12.7 times 75, because I'm 75 inches tall, 6 foot 3. That's 952.5. The third term is 6.8 times my age. So that's 6.8 times 51. And I know it says I'm 50, but I'm actually, my birthday's the end of this month, so go ahead and say 51. And the total there is 346.8. Now you take 66 plus 2,118.532 plus 952.5 minus 346.8 and the total is 2,790.232 now obviously you can discard the fractional calories at the end here so it's 2790 and that is of course the number of calories required to maintain your current weight and the way the theory goes if you keep your calorie intake say 500 calories below that number then you can expect to lose approximately a pound a week because one pound of fat equals about 3500 calories so if you have 500 calories short every day then in seven days that equals 3500 and that means one pound lost now I'm being just a little bit more extreme with that but that's mostly to get myself started to get things jump started I've been trying pretty much to keep my calorie intake at about roughly in the neighborhood of 1500 calories a day although today let's see as I'm recording this it's a little after 7 at night and so far my calories are just a little short of 600 for the day so far and I'm gonna actually try to keep it under a thousand for today tomorrow I'll go back to the 1500 range Part of the reason for that is to kind of keep the body guessing about how much it's going to get. On a good note, I finally worked out how to get my coffee down to a reasonable calorie level. I went ahead and started using the Splenda in it. And since the Splenda does not have calories, that means the only calories I'm getting out of my coffee is the creamer that I'm using, which is a non-dairy creamer instead of milk. And for that, it's like 10 calories a teaspoon. I use 5 teaspoons, so my coffee only costs me 50 calories. So that means I can pretty much have all the coffee I want. Although generally I do stick with just the one pot a day. I don't really need a second one. Now in really cold weather I might go through three pots in a day, but that's different. I know this doesn't seem like it's been going very long, but I've got almost eight minutes of video recorded already <laughs> because I managed to screw up what I was saying so many times. So I'm going to say take it easy, y'all. I'm out of here. Take it away, Garf. He is the gentle chef, and the frog just doesn't give a shit. Hello, it's Friday, June the 18th. Interesting, it seems that the boob has reduced losing weight to a simple mathematical formula. Of course, it remains to be seen if it will work in actual practice. Numbers are one thing, living, breathing people are quite another. On an unrelated note, 
I want to announce that Bob is working on a new episode of Points of View, and it should be uploaded either Saturday or Sunday. He will be talking about something called the Amiga M Wand, a device that's being sold for three hundred and fifty dollars, about which some startling claims have been made about its ability to do all manner of good things for you, such as relieving pain using zero point energy. I expect that to be interesting, as Bob has said something about tearing them a new one over the fact that their claims about zero point energy is a clear sign that it can only be a scam. There are two new subscribers. UHF 1965 and Ice Blue Horizon. Welcome and thank you very much for subscribing. The previous question of the day? Do you think they should quit farting around and use a nuke to seal the oil spill once and for all? Today's question of the day? Now, there's been some disagreement about which question to use. The boob wanted Fuga's question, what's your BMR, because it fits with the rest of today's video. However, I personally prefer Jesting Jill's, why is a raven like a writing desk? I will be interested to see the answers to that one. The dirty word of the day? Puny. Sure.